Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Intel's Battlemage GPU are finally starting to show up, and today we got some fresh news on the Arc Pro B50, the lowest specs card in the lineup. So let's get into it. Before that, make sure to subscribe. I really want to hit 500 subs by this month. The Arc Pro B50 was supposed to launch back in August along with the B60, but both were delayed. Now things are finally moving. The B60 is set to ship within two weeks and B50 has been spotted on Greek bands. This is the first real sign that the, the card is ready for testing and possibly release. The benchmark shows that the B50 running on colorful x870 motherboard with ryzen 7 9600x 3d and 32 gb of gddr5 memory interestingly that's more a gaming setup than traditional workstation build so this could be an early test by colorful or even any reviewer in terms of raw performance it scored around 78600 points in vulcan and 69800 points in opencl that's make it about 19 percent slower in vulcan and 16.5 percent slower in opencl compared to the higher end arc b570 the arc pro b50 comes with 16xc2 core 16 gb of memory and supported pcie 5.0 but it gives the same number of lanes as the high model. This makes it most entry level battle mars card so far. As for now, there's still no official release date or pricing for either B50 or B60. Both are being distributed mainly through the board partners, so don't expect to find them everywhere just yet. Personally, I think this card could be interesting if Intel prize it aggressively, something like budget friendly workstation or even a mid tier gaming card. But with the performance number, we are seeing it clearly not a powerhouse. The big question is will it offer enough value compared to the Nvidia's or AMD's mid range GPUs? We just have to wait and see. Next up, we have Asus just come from the release date of one of the most hyped GPU of the year, the ROG Matrix G Force RTX 5090. According to the Asus Singapore, the RA RTX 5090 Matrix 38th Anniversary Limited Edition will officially launch at the end of the October 2025. This announce is for a Singapore market and Asus hasn't confirmed whether this release date will appear globally. Asus first show up this card during Gamescon as part of 30th anniversary in the GPU world. The design is inspired by the classic EN9600 and 9800 GT Matrix card, but it is packed with all the latest cooling and power drive tech. We are talking about a 3 ounce copper PCB layer, a full copper vapor chamber with heat pipe, copper aluminium fans, and even quad fan cooling system. For full details, you can watch this video. So, that's it for today. Hopefully, you like the video. Make sure to subscribe for more video just like this. Thank you. How many times I say video in this video?